what's up fam and welcome back to the channel as you can see i'm in my bed and just because it is bedtime does not mean that the news stops happening so much is happening right now it's hard to even keep up so i'm just getting them when i can get them out I, there will be stories that i'm gonna miss i already know it because I have a life <laughs> and it is not sitting in front of a computer. It is actually getting us together so we are prepared for what is coming, growing our food, getting our garden um, set up for the spring so that we can start growing our food and stockpiling our food into our long-term food pantry. I advise you to do the same because so much is happening right now. Is unbelievable. When I sit and I think about what is happening in East Palestine right now, in Ohio, it is sad to see that federal government didn't even want to help them. The only reason they did, because they felt embarrassed about it once it came out that they did not want to help. Yet, they are making weapons here to send to Ukraine. This video is about that. I have a video in here showing you the company here in the US that is making these weapons and sending them over. Now, mind you, this is set up to make weapons for us. So the question remains, will we have what we need when that time come because that time is coming because the tensions are extremely high with China and the US with Russia and the US with the US and everybody tensions are high him going over there is going to look like the unity that Russia had already been talking about you on their side so you might have to feel some of the pain that they're feeling right now so y'all Please get yourself as ready as you possibly can for whatever is about to happen. Whether it's Russia and U.S., China and U.S., but something major is going to happen. And if it's China and U.S., expect that the supply chain will be disrupted. Very significant moment on the world stage. President Biden met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky during this unannounced trip. It comes just days before the one-year mark of Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine. This moment is highly significant this morning. Biden sending a strong message of support to Ukrainians as air raid sirens wailed across Kyiv, underscoring the very real risk involved in this trip. Leaders spoke a moment ago about the weight of this historic moment. But like I said, so many things happening, hard to keep up with it. I heard about the train in Philadelphia with the bomb on the tracks and, you know, the power outage in Oakland. I mean, it just goes on and on with our power grid and fire substations um, being set on fire. You know, that happened here in North Carolina. It's happened in South Carolina. It's happened in a number of places, and it is going to continue. The best thing you can do is to prepare right now. Emergency preparedness it is key. Making sure you have a way to have power in your home, no matter the smallest little thing, whether it's a candle <laughs> that you made yourself or that you bought from the dollar store, a backup power system is important i have links down in my description if you want to check them out and see if it's something that you can afford for your home or if there's something else that you can do to make sure you're safe so we're not done but we'll, this will be like a walkway i can get my wheelbarrow through here from this post and we got to put another post um two more posts in here so we can put a gate on and then you get the three beds but they're going to be a little bit higher because we're going to put some more wood on it and then put those cattle panel over here and we just put that fence up still got that little space we got to do right there and then that far end in the back is a compost thousand gallon oil bath that cools it down. The process, Hansen said, gives a shell the right chemical properties to lethally shatter on impact, causing as much damage as possible to a target. 
So what we're trying to do is we're trying to put, we're trying to instill chemical properties into the steel so that it does what it's designed to do. This round is designed to kill people. So we want to make sure that when it hits the ground and explodes, that it breaks up into little tiny parts, and those parts kill people. That's what we do. We build things to kill people. From there, they're polished and washed again, and the nose and copper bands are given final threading for fuses to be added and to fit the rifling of the big gun's barrels. Finally, they're coated with phosphate, then painted green and set aside for transport. The shells aren't actually finished in Scranton. From there, they go to Iowa, where they're loaded with explosives at another specialized facility. <laughs> 